the people who advocate open source often in various ways contribute to our community. For instance, if they develop free software, most of the programs they develop are free software. Uh, that's a contribution. You know, it, it's just a given program is just as much a contribution to our community regardless of the motives and pol political views of the people who developed it. So in that respect, many of them do contribute. And if they teach more people to use the software, that's a contribution. But what they tend not to do, the people who use the term, quote, open source, unquote, is teach other people to value freedom. And that, you might say, is the keel of our community, the foundation of our community. Because you can give people freedom, but if they don't value it, they'll lose it. They'll let it slip through their fingers because they won't make the, they won't even bother to close their hands so that it doesn't slip through their fingers. Freedom doesn't protect itself. By developing free software, we're giving people an, a, the possibility of living in freedom with less inconvenience. And more people will do it, therefore. But unless they also learn to value freedom enough to fight for it, they'll probably lose it again. So the open source movement alone can't do the job. We need the free software movement. We need to teach people to recognize freedom as an issue and value it and fight for it. And then we may succeed in holding on to it. If you're trying to persuade a Republican to value and use free software and appreciate freedom, you could talk about free markets. You see, they, they like to talk about having a free market and how important it is. But there isn't really a free market for non-free software. In fact, there isn't a free market for the support for the non-free software, because only the developer can make changes. So if you don't like it, you're stuck with it. And if you're not big enough that the developer cares about you, and you say, please make this change, the developer will say, get lost. Get out of my way, kitty. But with free software, you can find someone who wants some work and pay him to do the change you want. With non-free software, you can't even pay the developer to make the change you want because the developer doesn't have time for you. Not only that, most non-free software does not respect private property rights. If you look at the typical proprietary software product, it'll say that you can't even own your own copy. All you get is a license to use it on one computer. And if you ever sell that computer, you're supposed to erase it. You're not allowed to sell that copy to, an, to another person on the computer it's on. So how can any self-respecting Republican think that this is legitimate? The idea of private property is so that people can live surrounded by a sort of layer of their own property where they have control. But non-free software gets rid of this. So I suggest trying these arguments. They're the kind of things that will appeal to a Republican. Unless, well, that's if, if he has a shred of honesty. Uh, you know, some of these days Republicans don't really stand for anything except what they're paid to stand for. And I'm sad to say some of today's Democrats, too. The brightest spot in the free software world today is the existence of Ututoe. There's now a distribution that we can recommend to everybody and without having to worry that we're leading people towards some non-free software when we do it. So this is a, a big improvement. It used to be that, you know, GNU slash Linux was supposed to be a free operating system, but we couldn't tell anybody where to find it without directing him towards non-free software as well. 
Another bright thing is that there is movement in some countries in South America towards free software, especially in schools. And it's essential to use free software in the schools. When you're teaching kids to use computers, you've got to teach them to use computers in freedom. You've got to teach them to, be, to become adults who are accustomed to freedom. 